Welcome, Buena, to this week's episode of BTV. I'm Kellen. And I'm Luke. By the way, have you gotten a chance to check out any of the winter sports going on lately? Not really, but I know the wrestling team has been doing great as of late. Yeah, head coach Mark Daniels recognized 15 outgoing senior wrestlers last Wednesday at the Buena Wrestling Senior Night. The Buena Boys team beat Desert View 65 to 15 and Douglas 81 to 0, while the girls team swept Desert View and Douglas by a combined score of 64 to 0. Prior to the matches, Buena athletic directors and head coach recognized the family of former Buena wrestling Mark Mar Mario Lopez as this would have been his senior night. Going undefeated on the night for the boys was Super Chi Klinkle, Justin Levesque, Illinois Trujillo, Ryan Kiniston, Noah, Ki Noah Cummins, Zeph Lee, Dave Coronado, Andy Chase, Corky Kaufman, Devin Sullivan, and Sui Stewart. The boys finished the regular season at 22-4 and are headed to the sectionals on February 12th. On the news of wrestling, the girls who went undefeated the evening were Little Cruz, Asia General, Luisa Butcher, Katie Zips, Avery Wood, and Roxana Martinez. They concluded the season 17-0 in dual meets this season. Let's be sure to congratulate our wrestling team on the achievements. Sticking with the same note of winter sports, last Friday the Buena High School Gym, our girls basketball team managed to get cl a close victory against Cienega with a score of 58-52. But the season isn't over yet. Make sure to cheer them on as they finish out their season. Go Colts! Wow, what a way to represent Buena. The teams must be so proud of their seniors. You know who else should be proud of their seniors? The girls soccer team. The girls' varsity soccer team is recovering from an unlucky loss against Sunnyside High School on their senior night and last home game. The girls played hard and fierce towards the end of the game. Sunnyside was up two. The score was 4-6. But our Colts managed to tie it up at 6-6 uh, at until Sunnyside scored in the last 30 seconds of the game, making the final score 7-6. Despite the unfortunate loss, the ceremony for the seniors before the game was one everyone will surely remember. As the season ends, make sure to especially thank and congratulate the girls' soccer team seniors for their hard work this season. Although last week's game congratulated Buena's senior winter sport athletes, there's more for seniors to look forward to this year. Are you talking about the upcoming college fair? Great, great job giving the surprise away, but yes. As students get closer to graduation, however far it may be, they should start to think about what they are going to do after their high school years. Well, if you're a student considering college, then the Buena College Fair is the place for you. Students will get the chance to speak to people from different colleges and get insight and information on things that could help them pick a college that could work for their future. Come on out to the Buena College Fair on Monday, February 7th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. at Buena High School. That's the coolest thing that Buena has put on recently. With the end of the school year rolling around so quick, seniors are going to have to start to get ready to move on to a new chapter of their lives. Of course, but you can't move too far without good food in your system. Let's take a look into the Buena Cafe. With the start of the new semester, Buena's student cafe has been reopened. The cafe is run by advanced culinary students where they make all the food in-house. Well, the Colt Cafe, of course, had to take a break during the COVID times. So we were hoping to get it back started this year. So we have been planning since August and we were able to get it all started in January. So the cafe is open to Buena teachers and staff at the moment. The cafe is serving a variety of foods. They serve breakfast and lunch foods. Well for lunch we do have lunch burritos and yeah green chili burritos. Oh yeah we do have lemonade and tea as well. Oh yeah we do have cookies. <laughs> Well, for starters, in the breakfast time, I know we prepare scones, coffee, iced coffee, and fruit salads, as well as breakfast burritos. At the moment, the cafe is only open to teachers and staff due to COVID problems, but hopefully it will be open to students soon. I'm glad that Buena is bringing back all the small things that make it as good as it is. Yeah, it kind of shows you to appreciate the small things while you can and to leave your mark in a way. Honestly, a great way to do that sounds like investing in senior ads. Exactly what I was thinking. Senior ads are now available for the yearbook. Senior ads are a full page, half a page, and a quarter page in the yearbook, where the seniors can have a certain spot in the yearbook. For $75, you get a quarter of a page. For $125, you get half a page. For $200, you get a full page. Senior ads will be on sale until February 11th. 
So seniors, if you want a special spot in the yearbook, make sure you tell your parents about it. For any more questions on senior ads or the yearbook, go to room 2200 and ask Ms. Weller for more information. On the, note, on the note of making memories, that really takes me back to all of the dances we had over the years. Yeah, I love the school dances for what they are, but I heard that because of some current events, the plan moving forward might change. Unfortunately, that is exactly the case. With an insider feeding me the information that recently you may have heard that the winter dance was postponed, but due to recent events, it has been canceled. As, as you may imagine, the reason was mainly due to COVID-19. Ms. Floss has all the details. The winter dance was originally scheduled for January 29th. However, due to the COVID numbers, we had to cancel that. Um, and it wasn't officially canceled at first. It was really just postponed. However, the dates that we were given by the district to kind of push it back to were early March. And that date really doesn't work for student council because by the time March rolls around, we are fully engrossed in planning an amazing prom for Buena High School. If you're looking for your next chance to dance, set your sights on prom. It is scheduled for April 30th and tickets will be sold a few weeks before it takes place. The theme is secret and will be revealed later in March. Oh boy, I can't wait for prom. Imagine the memories we could make. I look forward to seeing you there. Speaking of looking forward to seeing things, let's take a look forward into this week's weather. For today's weather, we're looking at a high of 49 and a low 25 with winds blowing west at 15 miles per hour. So if it was ever your dream to become a human high school, now's your chance. This weekend's not looking much warmer with temperatures topping out in the low 60s and dipping to the mid-20s to maximize suffering. we got a mix of sunny and overcast days ahead, so be sure to have a jacket on hand as temperatures will remain just as low over the next 10 days. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, thanks for the insight, you guys. Now we should jazz up the conversation a bit. All right, then let me tell you about what Buenos musicians have been up to. Many band and choir students auditioned for the AMEA Southeast Regional Festival on January 22nd, with 10 choir kids and 13 band kids successfully passing the audition phase. They are now able to participate in the music festival on February 18th and 19th at Sabino High School, where band, orchestra, and choir students all around the region perform. The, stu the students that may that made it have the chance to audition for the AMEA All-State Festival, where the process stays the same. But at the state level, the stakes will be higher for state. But for now, congratulations to those who made it. Man, they got to be crazy talented to make it to state. Most definitely, but let's get the ball rolling to some health-related rela news that everyone could use. All right, all right. Well, did you know that today the NHS is hosting a quarterly blood drive? If you have signed up for the blood drive in the past that lunch, Red Cross will give you a $10 Amazon gift card. If you miss the quarter, if you miss this quarter, make sure to watch out for next quarters. There is no fee for signing up, but instead you will get something in return. The signs up are in the week for the, before lunch. There will be a table in front of the clock in the main hall, but you must be at least 16 with parental consent. You can contact Mrs. Osterman and Ms. Schofield, the ad advisors and sponsors, or Alyssa Seishi, the chair of NHS Club. What an event. I bet it really gets your blood pumping. Want to know what else does? Would it be the Buena Tennis tryouts? Of course. What else could be more active than that? Tennis season has just begun and students are beginning to sign up. As more students join, they plan on improving their skills, making new friends, and having fun. The players are really excited about this year. The coaches are dedicated to making the players work hard to hone in their skills. The coaches are expecting a lot of effort and passion from the student athletes. Um, 
Tennis season is off to a great start. If you want to join this year, go see Mr. Weiss at room 2105. Man, I really want to try out, but what if hypothetically I got all these underlying health issues I got to get checked out? Well have, you, well, have you been wondering what the blue bus is at the entrance of the football field? It's called Chiricahua Community Health. This bus is open to the public and mainly focuses on your health. They provide things such as testing, sports physicals, checkups, basic labs, immunizations, preventions, medical care, and so much more. They're, so, they're open on Thursdays during school hours here at Buena. If you're curious, check it out. I'll keep that in mind for later, but I don't know, man. I kind of get nervous to go out alone. With being in a military town, it's kind of hard to find places to make friends. Well, did you know that if you are a military child or new to the area, join the Military Child Unite Club to meet other military kids such as yourself? There, there is a meeting every Tuesday in zero hours. For more information, contact Ms. Sweeney. Good to know for next time. So on that note, that wraps up this episode of Buena TV. I'm Kellen. And I'm Luke. Be sure to join next week's episode for more information. Whoops. Have a great day, Buena.